uh, you videotaping that? Ballet and you know, have, have tickets and some don't. A lot of there's been double parked, but the guys are actually operating out of the lot. You understand? No, they're they're actually uh, they're in they're standing in the lot. There's two guys here now. There's one guy who took a ticket from a guy in the lot. Told him yeah yeah this is valet, and uh, then he just handed the car off to somebody else who's going to park. There's something wrong with this per se. Step back here. See this one? That's parked on the cross lines. Oh, yeah. Make sure you get that. Okay. Or no, this one does. Should I be get it aiming at? Yeah. Should I be aiming at license plates or no? No, I don't care. I just want to be able to show. Them. for Albert's yeah. restaurant. We don't yeah. take any spaces from anybody. If anybody comes to park here, okay, like if you're here. You can record you... him. Okay. Okay. Actually you're not, and I'm talking to people right now from the bid. Excuse me. Tell them you're not allowed to do that. But you don't know that? You think you're allowed to just double park all these spots? I work for hours. Okay. So I don't I care who you work for. Okay. I live in New Rochelle, buddy. Guess so what? This is a public lot. So do I. Okay. It's a public lot. I hey, watch your back. These are these are all not parking spaces. We're gonna move them right now. This is an issue. I'm moving them now. Them right I don't care now. what you can do whatever you want. We're moving them now. We're not we're not we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not depriving we're not depriving we're not depriving anybody of any spots. How am I harassing you? You're, you're legally recording us and that's harassment. How am I legally that's recording legally you? Recording us right now. How am I illegally you're recording? You say record them, record them. That's harassment. Sir. Uh, not really. <laughs> you're in a public area. I can record you. Sure. You're harassing us though. It's I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. You're just not allowed really. to. You're just we don't not. don't deprive anybody of any spots. We don't deprive anybody of any spots, sir. Really? At so all. all the other people who okay. go to the other restaurants who can't park here, because you've got about what twenty-five well, we spots. We provide spot. As but the, 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 around the corner, they come and they just come. We provide. Well, if this spot, guy doesn't okay? want to pay to park right now, how can he park? You want a valet or you want to park okay. in a regular lot? These spots are all taken by you. He can't park now because you're in all these spots. You see all the spots with the red tag. 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 Tag.
Another one. Another one. Tag. Another one. Tag. There's Another tag. one here. Another one. Yeah, then his boss came over. Tag. Okay, and try to also get a longer shot so we can see how many we're talking about. Okay, yeah. Well, all of the ones that have tags is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No tag. For any more red tags, we'll walk back on the other side and meet you in front. Okay. I said you were going to move a car for me if I wanted to park, right? Which, 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 where are you going to park? Oh, uh, I don't know, anywhere here. I would like to park. Call back, huh? All right, you call him now. I'll bring him over here right now. Hey, Alvin. How you doing? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, I heard this like issues like hey, this, but, uh, you met Owen before? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I heard, I mean, like um Ralph came Ralph came to me um during the week yeah. because he said that these guys were stopping people from other folks from parking uh -huh. in the parking lot. And I talked to them and I said they're not allowed to do that because it is a pri private parking lot. I mean, if they public have the space a public lot, if they have the space and they pay for the space. I mean, anybody can, can park here, but no. they should not... No, if they come into the restaurant, they can't park here? No, no. If, uh, if, uh, if I want to park my car, which I do... No, you could. I want... Right, right. Of course. Right. No, of course. And yeah. people want to go to your restaurant, they can. But you're, uh, there's about 40 of these spots are filled with valet cars. Oh, okay. All right. And all but, these cars parked along here. But I know, what, you know, I know what they have done, actually. There's been, like, yeah, certain guests from my restaurant, when they park here... The valet put the tickets on their car so they get it after. But we could change that system and just have them park. Well, you don't have to talk to me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Though, in general, it's like if I mean, we we're supposed to be having a meeting with like all the guys, Joey from Postal yeah, yeah, no, and yeah. everybody, so we can get together and kind of figure out a solution. But you're right. It, it is a public parking, and people should be allowed. No one should be prevented from, you know, using the the space. Me. Yeah. We're not, we, we don't, I'm trying to explain, we don't deprive anybody of spots. 
If I'm we, deprived. But did you give us a chance? If you want, I we, did. We, I asked the guy already. He told me to jam in over there where that car is parked illegally next to that. I said, I'm not going to do that. I want one of these regular spots like everybody else. And we can, we'll, we'll be more than happy but to that, that's, I'm, I'm, happy my, to my problem isn't with you. The issue here is, is that if for valet parking, the valets are supposed to have get lot. lots, not here. And what's happening is, is that you've taken... Well, I, well, I haven't, Bob, to be honest with you, I haven't done anything. Hang I hired... One second, one second. Uh, Paul? I got a call from O'Toole, and I came down to the emergency lot next to Alvin's, because the entire lot is filled with Alvin's valets. I'm here with Alvin now, and head of his valet, and I understand you can charge parking. You are, but I'm taking video, I've shot video, but I would say 85% of the lot is taken over by all these cars. The deck line is in the highway up and down Main Street. And basically, I pulled in here, I can't get a spot now because they've got all the spots still in the highway and they're not paying for anything. And Alvin's telling me that he would do that. Somehow he was told that this was okay. So, Well, they can't, as I understand it, they cannot valet park cars in this library. Lot. That's coming, that's what our tool told me. Well, two things. First of all, I'm told for a while they actually had a car block in the road so people couldn't come in. Only their people could come in. Now it's dinner's kind of winding down. But uh, according to a tool, according to what you talked about as well, the rule is that they're going to have valet parking because it's an off site. By a valet parking company? Yeah. So their valet service is filling up all the spots in this public line. They were blocking the entrance? That's why I was told I didn't see it. Oh. Because I that's what somebody else told me and I checked earlier and I didn't see that. Yeah, I don't know. So in any case I'm here and I just you know have changed his request and shot a bunch of video and you can do with it then if you want. Good night, Alvin. Good, Good night. night, thank Thanks, you guys Joe. so much. Appreciate Take good it. Care. Thank you guys. I it's not now. There's nothing to get aggravated about. <laughs> I didn't see that, but that's what I was called. Two different people. <laughs> Alan says that he came out here. And he didn't I didn't see it, but you know, I don't know. I, I'm not here all the time, so because I somebody. Anyway, I'm doing what I was asked to do. Uh, figured I'd give you a ring and uh, let you know because it's. Uh, Saturday night. <laughs> There's nothing to see on a Tuesday. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go talk to the woman who contacted her pool and talk to her. And then we, I guess we're having a meeting for two to run with the gallery anyway, but you can probably see why this would be a problem. But the whole point was to avoid the fighting on the gallery and the partners over the stocks. All right, well, anyway, listen, I didn't mean to. Uh, of your slumbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. okay, yeah, yeah. I did my part. I'll let you guys sort it out. That was Paul Bowser. Paul's responsible for the part. All I know is I got to call him.
the tools up in uh, Cape Cod, and I told him I'd come down and see what's going on. And I'll let you guys sort it out. Because I yeah, know, you know that. I, listen, I, you know, I, I don't want to create any problems. Um, you know, I thought it was going to be, you know, convenient for, you know, like Joey from Postal, all the guys, they told me it's the valid guy that they use. I said, so I got him to help yeah. eliminate the problem. I have no idea where stuff is going, how it's going, whatever. I just piggyback on what they have been doing apparently. And, you know, it's... But I did tell them last week when Paul, um, uh, Ralph. Ralph came to me. I said, you know what, guys, you cannot... I said, I haven't seen it. So, and I don't know if you guys really are doing it. I said, but if you are telling people that they can't park here, you can't do that. Because this is a public lot. And it's open to everyone. I mean, if my guests, I've seen them, what I've seen them do is like when my guests park in a space and they walk over, I've seen people, like especially in the early part, when they come in their space, they park, and they put a ticket on their car, I guess, so that they can get the cars from them after or whatever, and I guess they go. So one of the solutions that Ralph said probably would be to like, let's maybe make one of the lots here uh, a paid lot that's valet park for everybody and then they can, you know, put the cars in like they do in the city right. and get the cars out, which might be a solution that might be, might work. But well, I think the problem you got, and, this, and that's for you guys to discuss, I think the problem that you got, though, just to pass it along to you, but I'm advocating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that there are people who don't have valet parking, and they're saying that their customers can't find any place to park because all these spots around here are taken. And, uh, what? Well, yeah, so, so that's a culmination then of everybody coming together. Yeah, because, right. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I can I can see that being problematic. Well, that was the whole if, point of the parking stuff. Right. You know, if everybody, if everybody, if all the Valley people are coming and taking this, then regular people, yeah, aren't going to have any parking. But the the thing is, if if there's no Valley parking, and my guess, though, they can't be prevented from taking up these spaces. I mean, obviously, right now... I mean, a regular customer yeah. just walks in. Yeah. I like mean, me, I could... Well, I'm not gonna. Yeah. I could go have a drink. <laughs> right, no, <laughs> because, like, obviously, like, right now, it's like, we're probably one of the busier places when right. people are coming down here. So, if we... If this is the closest place to us, this is probably where most of my yeah, guests are going to park Yeah, but you understand that what's supposed to happen is, is that the valet parking is supposed to be... No, 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 I'm just saying, I'm, I'm talking with no valet. I'm just talking oh, if, yeah. I, if I... If I drop the valet... And then my guess, this is where they're gonna try and park. So, yeah. And then, you know, maybe that's that's well, just that, the solution. That's, I mean, that's fine because that's somebody who's just coming to park and to walk to wherever they want to walk to. If they happen to want to walk to you, that's fine. But my understanding is is that the rules are supposed to be set up that they're supposed to, you know, park over here or someplace else and get other parking. Right. The other issue is that maybe it's your concern, but. Thing in your shell, which is uh, if you do certain things on your dash, then you don't get a ticket if you're connected. And one of the implications is if they're, even if they're parking on their own and they're putting a red tag on, the way I look at that is, I must say, that you or he is doing that, but that the police know not to pick up that particular car for having an expired meter. And the effect is that for the city, we're losing all this parking because it's basically turned into free parking. But there are, I mean, there's another way to look at that too. I mean, I think, you know, I know like some of my customers like from Marchmont and stuff like that, when they come <clears throat> and the parking is till midnight, they're also saying that, you know what, they're coming here to the town and then they have dinner and then they get a ticket. Oh, and I think that, I think we're, I think, I mean, it would seem to me that popular restaurants the city probably makes more money on the taxes. Oh, and I, they I'm, probably, not, I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just. I'm not you saying know, you, but I'm, I'm just saying. That you're opening but I'm just saying that. in general, it seems like that would be the thing. But I know one of the solutions that they were trying to maybe come up with is making this two-way. Then the, that parking, and, the green monster that, back there. And that too. Right? Yeah. Then they could just, you know, just go and maybe they can designate that because it. A lot of people are afraid to park over there because it's not really well lit and stuff like that. So maybe they can kind of say, you know, that's all the restaurants could probably come together and pay the city a fee to have that be the designated valley parking. Well, I think that was, that's what I thought was supposed to be happening. Yeah, no, that would be, I mean, I think that would be a good solution. I got, I told that Modern bought parking 
you know, they didn't rent a park yeah. off site so they could ballet. Um, of course, if this was open, uh, there was no valet here, and I was going to your restaurant. This is the first place I'd go. Right, of course. Right? Yeah. But if it was full, and there was somebody to say, okay, I'll take your car over there, and I'll just come back and get it when I'm done, then I would probably valet. Right. But if, I can, if I'm valeting right here, why would anybody not do that? Right. Especially if not, these guys aren't charging, right? So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just telling you, I got complaints from other non-valet syndicate groups in town. And... Uh, in any case, I'm just going to do what I was asked to do, which is I'm yeah, going to yeah. give Jim O'Toole the, the video. He can talk to Ralph, and you guys can work it out. Right. I, I don't really have any dog in this fight. Just <laughs> understand, all right? Have a good night. All right, don't worry about it. All right, I'll see you later. Good, thanks.